Hey guys, this is Rocking3 bringing you the live commentary Project Cars. And I'm going to continue on the season, my uh, single season career or whatever you want to call it. And I stopped here at the beginning because I wanted to show you guys my settings. I have uh, 70 on the opponent skill. And I went and bumped that up to 49 on the session length. Going to add just one more lap. Looks like it's going to be the same, same track, I think. And I'm not sure. I'm assuming we're going to jump right into the race. Maybe. Maybe not. <clears throat> so usually I go through practice and qualifying and stuff like that. But it looks like in this case it's just going to skip to the next one. So we've done one race and we've won that one. And this time I'm going to know is if they're starting from a dead stop, I have to hit first gear. And we are. Okay. Am I in the front again? I am. This time shift. Green, green, there green. We go. Shifting. That was a really long green pause there. That's funny. Alright, tires are cold, so we are going to try to take this pretty easy right at first. We're gonna shift a little early just to kind of taper the acceleration down a little bit. There we go. I put that in six gear and just floored it. <laughs> just to make sure it was pulling it forward. Uh, you can see that I have all the cars set up as real, and what I mean by real is the assist and stuff that I'm able to use. And I, down, I uh, slowed way too far down there. Um, so I guess in this Clio Cup, they don't use any assists. Um, I do have the paddle shifters. I'm using the buttons just below the paddle shifters to keep the noise level down. And for you that don't know, I'm, I'm using a um, steering wheel. I'm using the non-feedback version. The Thrustmaster Ferrari Spider Wheel. Okay, we've got a little bit of pressure from the guy behind, so maybe time to start covering the inside line. I heard block him. That's what I heard. Block him out. <laughs> Trying to be really smooth through there. There we go. Now we're driving a little bit better. You can always tell when the tires get a little bit warmer. We're going to start throwing the car into these slower turns. If you guys were watching this and didn't see my uh, tune, my setup for this car, uh, there's, there's a video with the setup for this car and my overall setup that that coincides with this car as well. I had to change some sensitivities and dead zones, and I think they'll be useful. Your lead over second place is one second. Oh, I have to, I have to uh, hit this time, huh? Okay, we're gonna wait. We're gonna go ahead and use this open space for a while. I can pit any time during the race. And I'm going to actually wait. I could use this nice empty space in front of me to hopefully get some good laps down. Showed you guys that I'm racing at the, I don't know, we'll call it percentage, 70% level. And last time I won the race by a lot, by like 12 seconds and six laps. The nice thing about that is if I make a mistake and fall off the track, I still have a chance to win the race. I think I can get back on within 12 seconds. Um, 
but it's making this racing a little bit of a front runner. So we're gonna, after this race, if we win it again, we're gonna bump it up by 10 and we'll take it up to 80. Nice one, that was the fastest lap of the race. Drove a GT3 class car quite a bit, and uh, I will say you can definitely break a lot later. The pit box is currently occupied, so I can't even pit if I wanted to right now. To be honest, I don't even know what my pit strategy is. We'll have to uh, pull in and change it. So I don't want to do a lot to this car. And I don't think you can fuel up in this particular race class. But we'll make sure we have the shortest pit possible. Alright, so the pit is ready for me. We should probably go ahead and pit. Two is seven seconds. That's what we like. All right, we're gonna roll it into the pits this time, but we are going to hit start as soon as we hit there. There we go. Uh, oh, I did not get to change my pit strategy. Dang it! This could be a really long pit. <laughs> Sounds like we're changing all the tires. We'll see if that car in front of me pulls away first. Nope, I got out there. Let's look behind to see how fast they get out. Oh, yeah. I had way too long of a pit. We need to check that strategy. Oh, that was a guy coming in. Never mind. Maybe we're all right. Let's find out how far ahead we are. Cold tires, cold tires, cold tires. We're ninth. And the guy in front of us is 11 seconds in front of us. Cold, cold, cold. Ooh, really cold tires. So they're 10 seconds in front of me. Guess is half of them are going to pit here. And we'll be in fourth or fifth. Assuming these other guys still have to pit. Because they are 10, they're 11 seconds in front of me. This car's actually kind of fun to drive. I mean, I like the GT cars a lot. But for a lower class car, this is actually pretty fun. turns especially because you can just kind of whip the car through the turns and slam on the gas. Right, looks like one of them pitted. Yep, they both pitted. So we got this race. So the person behind us is... One more lap to go. 
Ooh, I did not slow down enough. Ah. I was looking at my uh, times. <laughs> Six seconds ahead of the second place guy. You're leading by five seconds. Good gap. Good job. So we lost two seconds since the last time I pitted. So we're going to have to make sure my pit strategy is sound for this particular class. Because I think you're supposed to change tires, but you don't take fuel. I want to make sure I'm not fixing any aero or brakes or anything like that. If I make any changes to this Clio, I'll let you guys know. And it probably won't be any changes in, unless I change tracks. Alright, two races, two wins. we got to up that difficulty a little bit. Well done, mate. You won the race. You really, really earned it today. Great job. Alright, Valor Racing. Continue on. Two races, two wins. We're going to be out of this class in no time. Alright, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next